Hello everyone, welcome back to our BGP 4 hands-on lab. In today's hands-on lab, we are going to explore another concept around BGP, which is called aggregation. And I'm sure most of you already know that aggregation is simply called as BGP route summarization. And you must have done some kind of route summarization with other routing protocol. So the summarization of BGP route is simply called as the aggregation. So the good thing about these summarization, uh, these could be IGP routes that have been, you know, like distributed into BGP. Uh, we can go ahead and, you know, do a summarization on that. So before BGP advertise these routes to the rest of the networks or the neighbors, we can simply go ahead and aggregate, and aggregate uh, these into a larger announcement. So that would be kind of, you know, makes sense. There is another term that goes with the aggregation is called a proxy aggregation. So there are situations where you will find that, you know, there are more specific routes that are being injected into BGP uh, by some routers. It could be one router or multiple router. But that aggregation of those routes is done or handled by another router. Or it could be another autonomous system altogether. So this kind of aggregation is simply called as a proxy aggregation where the routes are being injected by some router while the aggregation or the route summarization is done by some other router or even by a different AS. So this kind of approach is called a proxy aggregation. So whenever a router is configured to do aggregation, uh, we need to configure the route summary. If any route that is already into the BGP table if it's within that range, uh, it would be indicated by the summary. Then in that case, that summary route will also be going to be injected into the BGP table on the route and the advertised to the other routers also. So something uh, to keep in mind. So that means this would go ahead and create few more information in the BGP uh, table. And sometime to really get the benefits out of aggregation, because the idea behind aggregation is we want to summarize the routes. When you want to summarize the route, we are interested. We don't want to be really sending all the routes. So we must suppress the more specific route, you know, because those routes are already covered by the route summary. And we can go ahead and do that kind of suppression in the aggregate itself, uh, you know, in the aggregate command. So when we suppress the more specific route with the help of this configuration, those routes are still present in the BGP table. Don't think so that those routes will be gone. No, those routes will still be present in the BGP table of the router, the router who is doing the aggregation. However, these routes are marked as suppressed. These routes are will be marked as suppressed and we'll go ahead and see them in the BGP table. And these routes are never advertised to any other router. So something to keep in mind. They are still present in the BGP table, but they will not going to be advertised to the other router. So we just know now the summarization is called aggregation in the BGP, which is simply your route summarization. So whenever aggregation simply is going to create a summary route, which is also called as aggregate, for network and these are the networks which are already present into the BGP table. Again, these networks need to be present into the BGP table. An individual network can be announced or, you know, we can go ahead and suppress them. So for this demonstration, we are using our router ISP1. And on router ISP1, there are a couple loopback interfaces that you can see. And the network that we are using here in this is 10.01.1.28. And if you take a look at all of these networks are slash 28 so all of these slash 28 would be covered by a slash 24 as we did in some of the previous demo when we learned the concept of null zero interface so we can go ahead and simply advertise all of these network under slash 24 so now let's go ahead and do that but before i do that let me just take a look at the bgp table here so show ip bgp so these are the things which are present into the bgp so we have a 0 slash 28, we have 10 slash 24, which is coming from 12.2. We have another 16, 48. These are the, uh, no, these are the networks which are coming from our R2. Uh, because if you remember, that's the IP address of our R2. That's what we have configured some of these things. 
and these are the routes which are locally present and how do i know these are locally present if you guess next hop that's correct yeah because the next hop for these networks are, are is uh, set to as zero dot that means these are the local or connected routes on this router itself so now we are interested in doing a summary and as i said for these network we could represent all with the help of a slash 24 so now let's go to the bgp process so on this router the bgp process is 100 so we'll go to router bgp 100 and there are a couple commands so let's go ahead and press a question mark here one of the command that we are interested into uh, using is the aggregate address command and now what this command really says configure bgp aggregate entries and we just learned aggregates are called what route summary or route summarization in simple terminology so we'll say aggregate address and when you say aggregate address we need to provide an aggregate address so for this one as i said we could go ahead and use 10.0.1.0 that would be our aggregate address and the mask as we said we could represent all this thing with slash 24. now simply go ahead and press enter here and there are a few more things that we can go ahead and specify but at this stage that's what we want to go ahead and make use of this one we went ahead and configured this aggregate address now let's go ahead and check the bgp routing table again on our isp1 router and see if this aggregate or the summary route is seen on the bgp table or not so we can go ahead and simply share show ip bgp and we are interested in seeing a prefix because if you remember from the previous uh, video this is called a prefix where we have a combination of ip and mnas so we need to see 10.0.1.0 slash 24 with the next hop being set to 0.0.0.0 so now let's go ahead and run the command show ip bgp and let's take a look at and we could see a slash 24 we could see this new prefix so we do see our summary route being advertised on this particular uh, router so we do see now the summary route being present on the bgp routing table now we are doing the uh, route summarization on isp1 we can go ahead and verify that are we seeing this route the summary route onto the other neighbor so you can see isp1 is neighbor with uh, router r2 so we can go to the router r2 and we can take a look at router r2's bgp routing table and see if in that routing table do we see this summary route or not and you can see on the router uh, isp1 we do have our summary route as well as all the other routes which were being advertised or we you know we redistributed earlier so now let's go to our router r2 and we're going to take a look at the bgp uh, routing table here so i'll just simply go ahead and issue the command show ip bgp now when we go ahead on the show ip bgp you we could see that we are indeed getting our summary route 10.0.1.0 slash 24 which is coming from 11 11 is our isp router one but do you also happen to notice that we are also getting few a couple more routes from our isp1 we are still getting 1.0 which is a summary route but we are getting 1.0 slash 28 16 slash 28, 32, 28, 48, 28, 64, 28, and 80, 28. So that means what, what's going on here that we are getting the summary route as well as we are getting the more specific uh, route into our routing table. So if you see, this is kind of really defeating the purpose of the whole summary or the aggregation that we were interested in doing we only want to be advertising uh, these the summary route and not the individual uh, route so what we need to do we need to go ahead and do the suppression basically that's what we learned earlier so we're going to go ahead and suppress those individual uh, routes and to do that suppression we need to go ahead and reconfigure our our, our isp1 for the same aggregate address and now we're going to go ahead and use one more option with the aggregate so let's go ahead and you know take a look at that in any way in the config so we'll go to configure terminal and let's go to our router bgp process so bgp process 100 we'll say the same the aggregate address 
0 and the mass that we were interested in slash 24. Now, if you press a question mark here, we had a couple options and one of the options that we have is says summary only. Filter more specific route from update. So that means when we are sending an update, we want to filter the more specific routes. So now let's go ahead and just say summary only and go ahead and simply press and enter. So what we did, we went ahead and reconfigured our aggregate address with the summary only option. Now, if you go ahead and take a look at our BGP routing table again, but before I do that, let me just show you when we went ahead and aggregated, we could see the more specific route as well as the summary route. And if you take a look at the status code and the legend, you know, some of uh, these things. Now, re repeat the same command, show IP BGP. Now, in the show IP BGP, we could continue to see our summary route, which is slash 24. We also see our earlier routes that we were seeing the more specific. Now, if you see in terms in front of these specific route, we have a letter S. And if you take a look at the code, uh, the status code S really stands for the suppressed. So that means now we have all the routes present in the BGP routing table. And these more specific routes are marked as suppressed. And that is, you can see, being denoted by the lowercase letter S. So the S really, again, you know, stays, okay, hey, these routes are still present and available in the BGP table of the router, but they are not really advertised on a BGP session. So now when we use this summary option, only the route summary and not the more specific route will be advertised actually. And we can go ahead and confirm that if we go to our router R2 and rerun this command, show IP BGP. Let's take a look at our BGP table on router R2 again. So I'll do show IP BGP. And now if you take a look at from our ISP1, which is 1211, we are only receiving one route which is the aggregate route 1001.0 slash 24. And we are not receiving any more specific route that we were seeing earlier on. So you just saw with the help of summary keyword, we went ahead and reduced all of those specific route. So one of the major benefit of this approach is that rest of the router will receive only one route instead of the many more specific route that we were seeing. And that really helps with a lot of things with the BGP. You know, now they will not need to have hold all those routes. That means, you know, less uh, usage of memory and CPU. Another major advantage uh, that you will notice with this approach is, let's say now we know that RAUR R1 was advertising a couple of these networks. And if one of the network is, the, is a flapping continuously, and if we were sending this more specific route with every flap, we would be sending these updates more frequently. That means the neighbors and the, the router needs to be using a lot more CPU and memory. Now, as long as we have one of the neighbor or subnet, we will continue to advertise that aggregate route. That means if there is a network which is flapping, it is restricted or only to that local router those updates will not be really sent to the another neighbor. So that will not impact their resources in terms of CPU and memory or the update they need to handle. But, you know, again, with when we have a lot of advantage with the route aggregation, the route aggregation also, uh, you know, brings up one of the major problems that we'll explore later on. Whenever we do the route summarization, now we have lost the you know granularity or visibility into more detailed things into into our more detailed network, and this could sometime really lead to suboptimal routing paths. Now we are really saying, okay, hey, to reach any of these things, you go via router ISP one, but sometimes there could be multiple paths to reach you know those networks. So while there are some good advantage around the aggregation or the route summarization, this also leads into, you know, uh, these some of the problems of, and one of the problem that we're going to go ahead and see is really the suboptimal paths. But hopefully you got the idea behind the uh, route summarization or the aggregates. That'll be all for this lab. I'll see you guys in the next lab. Thank you.